episode of Advantesk Talks Semi, where we bring you the latest innovations happening at Advantesk and in the semiconductor industry around the globe. I'm your host, Keith Schaub. In this episode, we have a special treat for you. As you may know, Advantesk Annual Voice Conference is coming up soon. So today, we are hosting an Advantesk Voice themed quiz show. We like to call Test the Techies. Joining us, our contestants are the voice experts who are helping to shape this year's program. Let's welcome the players. Don Blair, Business Development Manager. Hagen Gürler, Head of Software Product Definition and Management of the V93000. And Jeff Brenner, Advantest Principal Consultant. Welcome, guys. Good morning, Keith. Thanks, Keith. Thank you all for joining us. So before we start the game... Uh, we have our very own Junko Nakiyas here to give us some important information for Voice 2021. Junko? All right. Thank you, Keith. All right. So, everyone, mark your calendars. Virtual Voice 2021 will be held June 21st through 23rd, offering 70 technical papers across eight tracks, Technology Kiosk Showcase that highlights the latest Advantes innovations, to fascinating keynotes related to robotics and AI, and our Partners Expo, which introduces companies like Alliance ATE, ISC Labs, ASC Group, and a dozen more. You can also join our workshop day on June 24th for hands-on sessions on focusing on 5G millimeter wave, high-performance cloud computing, and ACS Edge. So Voice has a lot to offer, so don't forget to register by June 16th at voice.advantes.com. Thanks, Junko. Wow, lots to do at Voice this year. You know, speaking of keynotes, both Dr. Darling and Mr. Lajvardi have presented on the TED stage. And to give our listeners an idea of what to expect, Dr. Darling's talk will explore how technology design, and related policy decisions are influenced by emotional connections between humans and lifelike machines. The second talk by Mr. Lajvardi, equally interesting. It's an inspirational story of how one of his high school robotics teams defeated MIT to win first place in an underwater robotics competition. So again, thanks, Junko, and let's get to our game, Test the Techies. We will have three rounds. Each round will have several questions. I'll ask a question. Some questions are round robin. Others are buzz in. And if you think you know the answer, be the first to buzz in. If correct, you get one point, zero points for wrong answers. At the end of round three, the highest score will be crowned. Test the Techies winner 2021. Don, Hagen, Jeff, you guys ready? Ready. Ready, Keith. Ready. Okay, round one. This is themed Voice 101. Question one. What is the theme for Voice 2021? Hagen, converging technologies, creating possibilities. Correct. This year's theme is converging technologies and creating possibilities. The possibilities that can be created across the entire test life cycle, going all the way from post-silicon validation to system level testing. So thanks, Hagen. Question two. This is round robin. Each person will get a chance to answer. Don, you'll go first, Hagen, you're next, and Jeff, you'll go last. So, Don, name two of the voice technical tracks. Hardware and software design integration and 5G millimeter wave. Correct. Hagen? Parametric test and factory automation. Correct. And Jeff? Well, Don took the one I'm most familiar with, which is the 5G, so uh, let's see. Uh, Hot Topics and Test Methodologies. Correct. Great. And that ends round one. So, Hagen, you're in the lead with two points, and Don and Jeff each with one point. So, Don, you've been with Voice since the beginning. How about you tell us a little bit about what to expect at this year's Voice? Sure, Keith. You know, the main value is really for the attendees to be able to learn the concepts And sometimes they can even get software code and be able to take that back to their job and immediately benefit from it. And this is a real plus for them also in justifying to their management, you know, why they attend voice. Okay. 
Thanks, Don. Moving on to round two. This round is called memory. All questions are buzz in. We will have eight questions representing the eight technical tracks of voice. I'll give you the title of an upcoming Voice 2021 paper. You buzz in and tell me the track. One point for a correct answer. Here we go. Question one. Cloud deployment of a machine learning based automated optical inspection solution. Done. Factory automation. Correct. Question two. High speed IO loopback. The challenges and obstacles of testing 112 gigabits per second. Hagen test methodologies, I guess. Correct. Question three. 5G millimeter wave wafer sort production testing using the V93K WSMM. Hagen, I have to be faster than Jeff. <laughs> no, I heard Jeff. I heard Jeff first. Uh, you had a clue in the title there, so I'm going to guess 5G millimeter wave. Correct. Jeff is sitting closer to you, Keith. That's why he came sooner to your ear than I. I've, I've got faster electrons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question four, high-speed image processing by GPU. Don, T2000, T6391. Correct. All right, question five, migrating to new Exascale power supply modules, XPS 256. Don, age of convergence. Good, Don. Don's in the lead. Question six, intelligent dynamic parametric testing with the V93000 SMU8 plus PDF Exencio test operations. John, hug parametric test. <laughs> <laughs> Almost a tie, but I have to give that to Jeff. Using Protocol Aware's read, modify, write hardware solution and the register access library to make Protocol Aware tests easier to set up with a faster time to market. Don, hardware and software design integration. Correct. And the last question. Production data gold mining. Using machine learning to reduce test cost and time by predicting test results. Hot topics. Ah, uh, Jeff, you got it. Hot topics. Yay. <laughs> that sound signals the end of round two. Don, you're in the lead with five points. Jeff, you have four and Hagen and three. Hagen, I understand that the Voice Technology Kiosk Showcase will include both presentations and virtual booths this year. Can you tell us more about the kiosks? Sure, Keith. Uh, so while the papers that Don was talking about earlier are basically there, you know, between our users to share best practices and learn from each other, uh, kiosks, on the other hand, are owned by Adventist uh, employees, Adventist people, and we basically use that to present news of, around um, Adventist products. And the really nice thing is that kiosks could allow our um, attendees to learn really about all the different solutions that Adventist has to offer for semiconductor tests, not just the SOC platforms that a lot of people are familiar with, but also all the other things like handlers or system level tests, cloud-based services, and many, many more. And uh, we have about 20 kiosks, and for each kiosk, there will be a, a kind of offline booth that can be visited anytime to get some first basic information. And then we'll have live WebEx sessions distributed over the three days where the experts are then presenting in more detail and, um, of course, are also available um, for questions. Great. Thank you, Hagen. Sounds like the kiosks are definitely a great way to learn about key interest areas. Okay, for our final round, point values are double. And the round three theme is age of convergence. There will be five questions all about the latest technology innovations debuting at this year's Advantest Voice. Question one, what is the highest number of transistors reported in a single monolithic device? Jeff, Keith, that would be a Cerebrus. They have a wafer scale device, which is over two trillion transistors. And it really shows where the market is going and where the device test needs are going with higher level integration and uh, serious issues to address with very large scan requirements as well as very large power requirements. Just to add on to what you're saying, even if you have a parts per billion quality level, that's still a thousand defects that you would have on Cerebrus. Yeah, well, that goes to the point. In order to catch all those defects, the amount of scan 
that you'll need to push through the device with that many gates is tremendous. And so you need to cover it in a couple of ways. One is by addressing your scan speed, and the other is just a tremendous amount of scan memory as well. And so that's a pretty significant challenge to the ATE right now, and something that we're covering in our workshops. Okay, question two. Recently, Advantest introduced the new Exascale generation on the V93K. It plays an important role at voice. How many channels of the previous generation PS1600 got installed worldwide? Done. Over 7 million. Hagen, do you have a more specific number? I think we're almost around 7.5 million in the meantime. Yeah, both are correct, but Hagen, you're more correct, so I have to give you two points for that. Question three. What is the maximum scan speed of the Exascale's PS5000 when using all 256 channels? Don, 5,000 megabits per second. Don, you were Don, you were definitely first on that one, so I'm going to give you the two points. Question four. What is the scan memory behind every pin? Don, 448 megavector, or 3.5 trillion vectors. 3.5 gigavectors of scan per pin. And the final question. How many channels of the XPS 256 have one amp capabilities? Hagen, all the 256. Hagen, 256. Okay, well that ends the contest. But before announcing the winner, Jeff, we are all excited that we are bringing back Voice Workshop Day. So tell us what we can expect with the workshops. Keith, thanks. Yeah, I'm excited about bringing it back as well. So the workshops are an opportunity to really take a deeper dive than we do in the paper in the solutions, the challenges and the solutions that are brought up in the papers and voice. So we have a workshop day, which is live sessions, two half-day sessions through the day. The attendees can choose two sessions which they can attend. And in each of these sessions that are led by our lead technical experts in the domain that those session covers, we'll be covering, again, the challenges, the solutions, as well as some, I would say, almost hands-on expertise as well. We'll have the virtual machines available for several of the workshop sessions in our Adventist Dojo where the attendees will be actually able to get the hands-on work with the solutions. So again, attendees can register for two of the five sessions. If they're not able to make it to workshop day, they can also register to attend the workshops virtually through the Adventist Dojo and the post-workshop registration. Great. Perfect. Thanks, Jeff. The hands-on experience that you get at the workshops, I find that's invaluable. So definitely, I encourage the listeners to attend that. Okay, now to announce the big winner. So with seven, no, with six points, Jeff, you get third place. And second place, Hagen with seven. And our big winner, Don with nine points. Congratulations, Don. Thanks, Keith. Great games. Yeah, great job, everyone, and thanks for being good sports and letting Don win. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can tell, Voice is an amazing event, and there's still time for you to register. And here to tell you how to do that is our very own Junko. Junko? All right, thank you. So everyone, please register for Virtual Voice by June 16th at voice.advantest.com. Again, it's Voice. That advantage.com and the registration closes on June 16th. So we hope to see you there. Back to you, Keith. Great. Thanks, Junko. Well, we hope you enjoyed our first quiz show and learned a few things along the way. I know I did. Let us know if you liked it and we might do more. Thanks and see you at Voice and see you next time. Mm-hmm.